Yo, what's up, you maniacs? Ah, uh, got some packages. I'm gonna see what they are. Um, let me see here. Uh, if I have a problem with a certain gun brand, it's okay to say I don't like it. Sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a Big Mac. Yeah, that's me. Chest pains all night long, and I get up the next day and go eat a Big Mac. It's real smart, ain't it? Uh, God, I got a little ass hurt because I said, because uh, I, I didn't say it, I wrote a comment. I said, any, uh, all the Kimbers I had, I had nothing but problems with them. Well, you know what? In Kimber's defense, I'm going to say this again as I said it before. I didn't have one one of those cameras. I didn't put at least 500 rounds through it. So probably after that, um, I'm sure they'd be fine. It was probably a break-in thing, but I was just too, you know, when a gun starts stovepiping and jamming and all that, I'll look into it a little bit, but if it keeps doing it after like 300 rounds, it's hard to have faith in it. I mean, I, I understand you need 500 rounds through it, and if I really stuck it out, uh, it probably would have worked itself out. But would I have, would, would I would have had, what I would have had, how do you say it? I don't know if I would have had faith in that gun to carry it on my person to defend and save my life. You know, if you have a gun that does that and you have a gun over here that, you know, ran out of the box, reliable from day one, because uh, there is 1911s that can do that. I have a few. I have the STI, and I have the Remington R1 Enhanced. They're running great. I know I haven't put a lot of rounds to them, but they haven't fucked up one time, so... I don't know. And I've had a, you know... I think I had to get a part from them one time, Kimber. I think they were bushings for my uh, the frame of my gun, and the guy told me to uh, send the bad bushings in then he'll send me the new bushings like he didn't trust me in case I was lying okay not saying I'll never give Kimber another chance I would love to have a Kimber in my collection if I could just get one that's that I feel good about they, they're beautiful guns man I'll tell you as far as eye candy goes man they have some of the nicest looking guns but I don't know another thing that turned me off is I spent fourteen hundred hours on a, on a little officer size and the slide was stainless and the frame was black and the frame was just spray painted nicely done don't get me wrong but it's it's just like I'm sure it was cooked in an oven and everything like they did it right but it was paint now I'm paying thirteen hundred dollars for a gun and it's it's painted I understand they can't blue aluminum but they need to come up with something else besides the paint thing because the paint was chipping off I mean, after that, I was just like, I don't know. I'll wait down the road, you know. Maybe I'll get another Custom 2. I had a good experience with the Custom 2. I definitely did. But all the other ones I had, uh, uh, not good. Not good. But like I said, I didn't let it give it time to do, go through the breaking period. So, uh, I don't like to, to bash or badmouth any gun companies, you know. But I just don't understand that they're pricing. I don't get it. They need to come down about 300 bucks. <coughs> this is uh, my Kershaw knife. I carry it all the time. That and the Benchmade. This is an awesome knife for the money, though. 40 bucks, 30 bucks, and it holds a nice edge. Uh, this is from. I mean, I don't want to show the address. I don't know who this is from. It looks like it's from a collectibles company. And. Okay, well, the collectibles company's address is on it, so I can show that in my P.O. box is on there, so it's all right if I show that. So I can show that. I don't know what this is or who it's from. I hope there's a note in here, because sometimes uh, you don't get a note. But I will show this person. Uh, I have, oh, stuff, stuffy peanuts. Very cool. Okay. Something to do with sports. Collectiblesupplies.com. That's where it came from. 
Oh, look at this, there's a note. It's a receipt. And you see who it's from. Is there anything written on here? <clears throat> wow. Well, I don't know who it's from. Well, <clears throat> dude, if you see this video, PM me and tell me what you gave me. And I will PM you back and gladly thank you. If it doesn't get buried in my PMs, that's the only problem. When you go to the PM box, man, it just, it just gets pages and pages. But I'll, I'll try to find it. All right. Another Flyers puck. There's never enough of these. That's an official... National Hockey League official game puck. Check that out. These things are heavy, man. I mean, they're a solid, they're a solid circle block of rubber. There's a solid rubber. They're heavy, and these guys, man, they get hit in the face with these. This puck's going like 70 miles an hour. You imagine that? And then they come back and they play. They get stitched up and they go back on the ice. I'd be coming out with a. Uh, with a freaking catcher's mitt mask on after getting hit in the face with one of these. There's some badasses in hockey, man. They are badasses. Try to straighten it out a little. Gotta just do this. Okay, can't get it open. Oh, it's taped. All right, I'll mess with that later. Thanks, bro. Thank you very much. Uh, this will go up on my... Well, I have one here, but I'll put this one up on my mantle my, in my living room. It's beautiful. Thanks. Okay, you know, nice box. I'll keep that box. Should we turn a gift to somebody? <clears throat> yeah, man, don't get all ass hurt just because there's a certain gun brand that I have something negative to say. See, that, that's the problem with this channel. You know, I see a lot of channels out there, like, curve what they say, they're afraid to say it. You know, we're brutally honest here. If something ain't working out and something's bad, don't you want me to let you know about it? Really? Okay. All right. This is from... Uh, my friend, Chad, and oh, I hope I didn't screw anything up at night. I do that too a lot. Open up on camera. Okay. I guess that's so people can't see through the envelope. That's what that is. Very, very cool. I love this movie. I love Burt Reynolds. He is a cool dude. He's the only actor, I know you, probably some of you young guys ain't familiar with him. Burt Reynolds is the only actor that can be a badass and make you laugh equally. He's a funny dude and he can play a badass. Did you ever see Sharky's Machine? I love that movie. He was great in this too. Thanks dude, I love Deliverance. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Whoops, DVD's flopping around. Chad, I watch this tonight. Freaking sweet. Now, I ain't going to lie, I have a copy of this, but it's Blu-ray. And the problem with Blu-ray is I can't play it anywhere. So now I can watch this in my bedroom because it's a regular DVD. That's the only problem with Blu-rays. And there's a note in here. <clears throat> Just thought you might like a classic movie. You can watch Ebony oh, e squeal like a pig. Your friend Chad. That's for sure, dude. He is a character. <clears throat> and Chad also sent the wiener soap. For washing your wiener. Uh, Chad's a funny guy. We like Chad. Chad, thank you, man. Seriously, though. Very, very nice. Thanks very much. Okay. And this is... I'm thinking this is... Uh, I'm thinking this is the holster from Andy. I, I, I emailed him. He's probably just been on around. Pretty sure this is the holster. This guy does great work. Um, and this is going to be for my Sig Sauer uh, P226. <coughs> uh, I don't think that's Andy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Harlan Leatherworks. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, guys. 
Harlan Leatherworks. Do you like the uh, the textured leather this time? It's like the, the dull flat instead of the shiny. I specifically asked him for that, and he did it. This is what he make, he makes the belts out of too. Well, Andy, as usual, bro, beautiful work. I'm gonna go get the gun. Got a reinforced mouth here. Holds helps hold the holster open and keep it stiff. Beautiful stitching. Look at that. There's his logo. It's Mark. Well, you know what? I'm going to be wearing this probably Sunday. I'll be wearing this. All right, let's get the, uh, the SIG out and see how it fits. Okay, this, is hol this holster is for my, my SIG M11A1, which is the 228 P228 with a little more features than the regular 228. Here's the holster Andy made and I just want to give you a nice how he buffs all around the edges all the way around. He, he don't cut any corners at all. You've seen it before. I love I love this dull leather. I love that. Man this is so hard it feels like plastic. I don't know how he gets it like that. That's why I didn't think it was his. I thought it was a Kydex holster then I pulled it out and it was leather. It's amazing. That's what you want. You don't want it all squishy. Look at that. Beautiful work. Andy, you did it again, buddy. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. And I'll put Andy's link under there. You guys want a holster made? Nine times out of ten, he has the right mold for it, and he can get it done for you. Okay. Here's the uh, Sig Sour. Make sure she's safe. Very nice. Look at that. <laughs> Kidding me or what? Look at that. Do the muzzle just right where it needs to be. All the bulge marks are lined up with the uh, controls on the outside of the gun. Oh man, this is going to carry nice, nice, strong. If you turn it upside down, it's not coming out. Unless I really shake it, I don't want to do that. Fits really good. It's going to loosen up over time. It's not bad at all. It's just a nice, perfect. This is the way you want it because it's going to get looser. You don't want it more loose than, you don't want it too loose. Look at that. Man, that fits perfect. That is awesome. Andy, thanks, bro. You're the man. You are the, like the king when it comes to holsters. Uh, that holster is, is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Well, I want to thank everybody for what they sent me. And uh, usually when I do a holster video for Andy, I, I make it uh, just for him. But I, I got a lot of nice things today. And uh, I just figure I include everybody on this one. But uh, Andy, especially Andy, because I know it, it, it takes long to make them holsters. He makes them from scratch. You know, he does. And he works really hard and he gets them perfect. The guy takes a lot of pride in his work. And you can see it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for everything. I'll put Andy's link under there. You got a SIG. Uh, I guess if you have a SIG 228, if you have a SIG 229, he can make you this exact holster. It's an outside the waistband right handed. It's exactly what I want it. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.